from Wild Woman Bushcraft and today I have a special guest with me, Lisa accompany me. Hello! So we planned something very special for you. We want to make a mix out of a Abedonet Place, Adventure and Bushcraft. So if you want to follow us, you can accompany me. Let's go! We are now at the next Abedonet place, the next spot. It is an old hospital and it looks like here is very much left. Looks great. When we come into the first room, I see this mushroom here. I'm not sure, but I think it is the house mushroom. We call it in Germany house mushroom. This mushroom here lives in the wood part of the house. And when you have it once inside, you can um, complete damage your house because this mushroom make all the wood rotten. Look how big this part of the mushroom is and how small my hand. Yeah, it is very massive here, so we had to be very careful. The stairs are completely rotten because of the mushroom, so we had to be very, very careful. <laughs> Here in the fridge is also very much inside. Lisa asked me if I want to open one package. No, I think but it's disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> It is all in a good condition, of course, when we don't look at the house mushroom. But it looks like they left from today till tomorrow. Was ist da?
All the rooms are very high quality. It is all um, massive wood. So a part of this stuff could be also used now. Yeah. The stairs are complete yeah, collapsed. And here you can see there is black mold. Ah, Not schimmer. so healthy for the lungs. Ah, okay, it comes because the window here is open. And here they put the urinal container <laughs> for collect the water. Ich glaub's, yeah. Eine Waage. Gibt die Okay. Nein. Du kannst es leider nicht gescheit einstellen. Ein Hirtenmadel. <lacht> Mit dicken Waddeln. Look at this mushroom, how it grows. Ah, schon mal zum Röntgenbilder anschauen. This book is from the gold therapy. I'm sure it is not for everyone because it sounds very expensive. Ja, Schwesterzimmer. One of the liquids that are searched actually the most, desinfectant. And this year is for the old ladies, the soft chandray. Treasure. <laughs> Up to the next building, there's no way between them, so we had to go outside again. Wenn wir da durchgehen, kommen wir dann bei der Tür weiter. Aber ich glaube <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that whole bank here, I can do it. I'm also gonna sort of touch it. This is an X-ray of the lungs. Okay. 
da ist gar kein Fenster mehr drin. Ja, die wussten schon vorher, worauf es ankommt. Da ist sogar noch was drin. Also, something left inside of the bottles. Apfelscholle, Zitronenlimmer und exklusive Keramik. Ersatzfliesen. Ich glaube schon. What a mess. That was probably the caretaker's room. I wouldn't like to clean this room. Oh. They also try to open the safe. Maybe they thought there was something inside, but I'm sure there's nothing. Still closed. Also Aufbau cool, That oder? was probably a build-up treatment, salts and electrolytes. Mm -hmm. A bath tube lift Stimmt. and an old Telefon. phone booth. Telefonbuch ist noch drin. No telephone left. Ich würde sagen, gehen wir erst links, oder? Just also try Ende. to sit once. X-ray. Third world countries are urgently needed and here they are just rotten. So sad. Mm -hmm. Ja, man hört auch das Wasser plätschern. An old ultrasound machine. This here could be the wake up room or intensive care room because here is this big 
uh, window at this part and also at the other part. All the rooms here have the same big um, windows. I'm not sure how for what they really are. A lot of old ultrasound pictures, maybe this show the kidney. Looks like the lamp by the teeth doctor. Is there a better uh, name for teeth doctor? Dentist? Dentist, yeah, this was the word for them searching. <laughs> Don't do this. <laughs> oh god. Five before Könnte in einem schlechteren Zustand sein. Here is something where you should be really careful. Here is real blood inside. Dangerous garbage. Was ist denn da los? Oh je. What happened here? Blop. I love books and when I see something like this, my heart is bleeding. But it is in codex that you don't are allowed to take anything away from an donut place. Oh. We found here old mobile phones. I'm pretty sure they would work till now. It is always for the old um, mechanic this works such a long time and the newer one is damaged after one you're using. Very stuff. This here was the dinner room.
As a real Bavarian person, you only eat senf from this brand. The wood here is completely rotten, so we don't walk this way. Ja, warum lässt man sowas stehen? This here is the fridge. Here they put the meat on top of this one. <laughs> this, is yet this is the real life survival <laughs> red groats. Mm, not so tasty. <laughs> then right behind on white sausage. Also canned food. Fruchtstückchen und Schimmelstückchen. Mm. Sausage doesn't look so nice. Someone tried this one. And this here is fish and canned food. Oh, I don't want to try this. This is complete rotten. Another cold room to refrigerate food. Who wants to make the laundry? Here is enough space for the whole family. Here are three abandoned houses that also are close to the clinic. And of course we also watch inside of them. This is my area, an old glass house. I would love to have so much space. Maybe they let grow the vegetable for the clinic here, for the hospital.
I'm sure that this is the house from the clinic owner. It looks very expensive. We don't can go inside of these two buildings. Lisa and I had a very crazy plan. <laughs> so our plan for this day was to make um, over the day an Avedon at places trip and spend the night in the forest the, for a bushcraft overnighter. We have everything in the car, um, all the backpacks are already packed. And now while we are walking here through this area, we had this crazy idea why we don't spend the night here in this Avedon hospital. So we have everything here that we need. It is dry. We have um, complete Manager. rooms. Yeah, um, there are beds, um, chairs, soap, everything. Also on toilet, but the water isn't running. <laughs> but um, we have everything we need. We check out all the possibilities, emergency plans, what we do when someone come, or is it too dangerous here or not? What we can do to protect us? Spoiler: It's not. <laughs> <laughs> So, and we make the decision to spend the night here. This here is our lounge. There are two um, comfortable chairs. And in case of emergency, we can jump out of the window. It is not too high and if someone happen, we can jump out there. We will spend the night into this bed. We have here a table, chairs water cooker, <laughs> our own bath and we yeah. We will have a very comfortable night here. We go now back to the car and take our stuff for the night. Then we wait a little bit till everyone is away from this place and then we make the room comfortable for the night. We packed our backpack and now we are going inside again. Home sweet home. The door was wet in the past so it doesn't fit anymore. We try to barricade ourselves that nobody can come into the room and push the dresser in front of the door that nobody can open it so easy and we had a time to react before someone is coming into the room. At which side do you want to sleep? I'm sure they are both the same. There is no bed better than the other one. I can't really believe that we really spent this night here, <laughs> it is a little bit crazy. But we are finally here. Lisa and I checked all the floors, um, which ways are going to this room. And we cannot knock the door, but we put... Um, traps. Yeah, we put some traps, sound traps at the doors. When someone opened the door, something fall down and make a really loud noise. So we are being pre prepared when someone is coming. And now we clean a little bit this room and then we will have it very cozy. We 
we have everything we need here for spending the night but we don't want to lay direct here at this blanket um, uh, yeah we have from our planned bushcraft trip of course our sleeping bags with us and the sleeping bags are a barrier um, for disgusting things so maybe we can we can use the, the blankets if it's too cold but I'm sure it will be not too cold this night so schlafsäcke our sleeping bags this is deiner Lisa bis minus 8 Grad ja Geht leicht. Komfort. Limit ist minus 26. Also du hast es schön warm. Perfekt. Ja. Naja. So schwarz ist es. So schwarz ist es nicht. Ich habe es mir schlimmer vorgestellt. I thought it would be more dark. Our bed is now prepared. It would be a comfortable night. Absolutely. My stomach is rumbling, so it would be great if we can eat now. Oh, yes. So. Yeah. <laughs> Also, ich habe hier drin noch Äpfel für später, mhm. Käse. We were both really scared now because we talked um, at a German scene. I filmed between um, we talking and suddenly something fell down and we was both really shocked and stopped talking and just listening but we can't hear something else and um, we, we uh, closed all the doors and put stuff at the doors that when someone opened it it would be really loud and um, it maybe something fall down here from the wall or something else but nobody's here but um, yeah you now we can uh, look what is waiting for us in the night because I'm sure when we hear something that we both are standing in the beds and we don't sleep well this night so no, we are real realistic and we know that we want have a good night but this is okay I hope that nobody is at this place here in the night because this would be not so nice. I'm sure that we will be afraid and we will start tomorrow, tomorrow really early that we are away from this place when the next visitors are coming. The sunlight is away now and it's getting dark and that nobody can see our light here inside of the building. We close now um, the cotton part here from the window that nobody can see our light. Here we want to spend the next hour in a cozy chair, a mountain view, what we will have more. Lisa and I are so afraid. Um, we are sitting here completely relaxed and talk to each other and suddenly I stopped and said Lisa do you hear that? And she said yes I hear it too and we both are going really fast to um, catch our knives to be prepared and are complete silent and are yeah we are waiting that someone is coming into our room.
And then I um, look out of the window and there is an... Um, ah, what's the name? Um, I had to check the name. On Martin outside. He is climbing here at the wall and then he is bring to the tree. And we both are so afraid and are waiting for the person who is coming. <laughs> and it was just an animal. So this could be a very good night. Could you saw him? I didn't. <laughs> Of course, there isn't water running out of the pipe, but like outdoors, we can wash ourselves with the water that we bring into this room. Slowly, the night descends over the terrain. The darker it gets, the more our senses become more sensitive. We try to talk quiet and don't use flashlight so that nobody can see or hear us. The mattress is soft and the sleeping bag is warm, but it will take a long time to fall asleep. Good morning, we extra make a ring at the mobile phone that we wake up early, but we don't need it because we both doesn't sleep so much, so we often wake up. It was nothing, so the night was complete silent, um, but we, uh, we sharpen all our senses that we don't miss anything, any noise. So. Um, we don't have we have the deep, deep parts from sleep, but this is okay. We expected that, and now we stand up and make us ready. Put everything back from our stuff um, and go outside. Yeah. It was pretty cold because I was afraid to put this um, head cover for my sleeping bag up because I thought then I would hear nothing. Um, but it was really nothing, nothing, nothing. It was complete, deadly silence. Our um, backpacks are ready, packed, everything is away. Uh, like every time also when I sleep outdoors, we leave no trace. Nobody should know that we are here or that we spent the night here. Um, we leave our, our alarm tracks. No, we don't leave them, we put them again away that the next one who's coming inside don't have to make such loud noise. And then we are starting. This was our sound alarm. We put um, heavy items against the door, metal items um, underneath this area was a chair. Um, at the door from our sleeping room was it a big picture with glass, so um, that would make a loud noise when someone opened it. But now we leave the place and we remove everything. Ja, genau.
Theresa, how was the night? I didn't sleep well, <laughs> but it was enough. It was enough. Yeah. I would do it again. <laughs> <laughs> we don't expect that we will sleep well, so everything is fine. But in the night we thought, oh, we are a little bit crazy why we are doing this. Um, yeah, but now we've also done this. This is a new adventure, a new type of adventure. Why not? So it was a really interesting experience and maybe we try it once again. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you Lisa for accompanying me. It was really great with you again. Yes, it was really nice. <laughs> we both start now to the next of a donut place and you will see it in one from the next videos. So thank you for watching and have a good time. Bye bye. Bye.